Hello and welcome to Borders Rugby Special. This afternoon we've come to Philip Hawk where Selkirk welcome Edinburgh Ackies. Both teams have had a great start to the season, sitting third and second in the table respectively, both with 11 points. Selkirk are also undefeated in their first three games and I'm sure Scott White and his team will be fighting hard to keep it that way this afternoon. Now let's go to the commentary box where we join Robin Purdy and Scott Tomlinson. As Selkirk enter the fray you will hear the the clapping from those in the stand and around the pitch here at Philcon. We, we, we spoke about Aki's there, Scott. You know, Aki's do quite well out the student population in Edinburgh, perhaps, but Selkirk have recruited really well this summer as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, Scott White. There's no doubt about it. Scott White and Martin Murray has been excellent in recruiting players and, and first team players as well. No guys that are on the fringes, the guys that are going to make a huge difference to the team. I think, um, truthfully, I think um, James Head has made a, a big difference in the park that kind of moulds that. The, the couple of youngsters they've got in, in, in Andrew Cochran and Monroe Job. Um, out in the backs, I think it's very important. Obviously, Grant City is off today, but it's very important you have somebody like Ryan Bosman that could come in, a seasoned internationalist, believe it or not, could come in and make a difference and just hold that ship. Ross Nixon at 10 has been a revelation. Um, amazing to, to think that he, he's always played his rugby at 12 or 13 and suddenly he's playing that standoff role. So uh, good luck to him, he's doing well out there. He is indeed, he's performed admirably out of position in the first three games of the season but we are just about to get underway here at Philip Hall. The conditions are great for an afternoon's rugby, very little wind. The pitch is in good condition and that is kicked off by Selkirk who are attacking the town end here straight into the arms of Belgian International on the Aki side, Vincent Hart, he's put it down the park and that's a decent touch finder and that will give a standoff for conference at the start of a game, Scott. Yeah, it's a good 50, 60 metre crossfield kick. Made into touch, no mistakes there, so you'll be happy with that, Hart. First Selkirk line out, it's going to be Bruce Riddle to throw into this, just on Selkirk's own 10 metre line, and the king of the line out, James Head, goes up highest, and he takes clean ball, and that's a, a little half break there by McClymont, takes Selkirk up towards the halfway line. Now here come the, the rest Back of the forward pack. High, clean ball, Hamilton to Nixon, Nixon to Cottrell. Cottrell tries to go on the outside but reasonable defence there by the inside centre for Aki's Neil Armstrong now it's the big Polish international Zenin Zvadrak Selkirk on the halfway line here now that oh that was dropped there by Cottrell was there a, there was a little bit of space there but the referee's going to bring them back for a penalty in and around the halfway line centre field and yeah good maintaining a possession early on for Selkirk Scott slow and bringing it in here will, will the referee make this yes it goes to Campbell and he takes that clearly he's got a great skill set Rory Campbell now here come Aki's good defence though by Selkirk in the midfield 5-6 metres outside the, Sel the, Sel the Aki's 22 rather and here they come again that's the big prop Cole Imry Super 6 clubs believed to be looking at him but it's been spilled and it's in the grateful hands and what a great dummy that is by Ryan Cottrell yeah. All five off. Oh, but no, there's been an infringement in there and the referee's going to bring them back. Grant, Stephen, I was following Ryan Cottrell there. I would like to see that back again, but what I will say is Ryan Godsmark's hands off the back of that ruck there just now. Very, very light and simple and, and put Cottrell away into space. Um, I think it was pretty hard done by their circuit. As, as you say, I mean, that's two beautiful passes from Godsmark so yeah, far. You know, he, he, we all know he's a classy operator. I've not seen Ryan for a number of years, to be fair. He's doing a brilliant job at the high school just now, helping the young kids. Um, but you can see he's a talented rugby player, can't he? He's he obviously has spent a long time at Selkirk with his brothers as well, you know. Um, but you can see he's got that rugby ability about him. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, and Aki's kicked the touch with a penalty and they've won the line out and they've rumbled it forward a metre or two it's been taken to ground however so Granger feeds Hart first touch for Max Wallace the winger and Max Wallace is wrapped up by Godsmark after he'd made a metre or two in the midfield now here comes the second rower Jake Mills now here come Aki's again it's Hart he's met well by Andrew Cochran however this young and exuberant Sel Sel Selkirk second rower Here's the outside centre, Robbie Kent for Aki's Robbie Kent going across the field, but he's found the big second row man, Richard Thompson. He hits it up in the middle of the park, just encroaching into the no, Selkirk 10 now. Aki's, Aki's attack, attacking the cricket club end here. And again, that's another rumble there by Jake Mills. 
and here they come again starting to build a few phases now Aki's and again Wallace was he in touch here no it's been oh it was intercepted by Petty and easy now, easy now. then Petty was taken into touch easy by now. an Aki's player so it's going to be an Aki's line out no. they'll try to take it quickly Granger but referee Grant Stevens is going to bring them back they're right in front of us here so Set. Selkirk scrum centre field on their own 10 metre line it's Hamilton to feed Job's at the back and it's Job that feeds Nixon this time Nixon's got runners one of which is Cottrell Cottrell with the white boots a strong handoff by Cottrell now yeah, he sets it back and it's Hamilton again he's got James Head on the charge and that's a good carry by the the big ex Melrose second right, row and here comes Nixon again to Zvadrak Zvadrak again now Selkirk making metres here with every carry and it's Hamilton Nixon done so well early in the season playing out of position and that's been stabbed through by Matt Reed. Is that going to make it to touch? Yes, it is. And Selkirk now deep inside the Aki's 22. And yes, Selkirk carrying with real purpose there, Scott. Yeah, I, I said before, they're just playing with a real confidence and a bit swagger about them, aren't they? They really are. And then even Matt, Matt Reed there, just at the end, they put a nice little kick in there, making, trying to make Ed Marakis kick that ball out in the touch there. So, no, good carries with James Head and, and Zan as well. So, things are going well. We're just... Um, when they're down in this business end now, it really is important. The paramount that, that Selkirk put pressure on, on Aki's 9 and 10 and, and try and keep them in that corner. That's where we want to keep them just now and see if we can get a turnover and get a try out of it. There's certainly points. Anyway. Yeah, Sel- Selkirk will certainly be looking to leave here with the first points of the afternoon. It remains 0-0 here. 15 minutes gone. Oh, and it was retrieved. I think it was Campbell oh, no! again on the line on that far side after. It looked like it might have gone astray, but Aki's... I've got okay, possession Luke. here. They're trying to rumble it from that line out. They've made a metre or so. Now it's going to go to ground. It's going to come back to Granger. This young scrum half. Played for Edinburgh under 18s in 2009. Stay the product there. of Royal High School. Or is he going to leave it to his burly forwards? Do, guys. No, it's Granger with the box. Play is that on. going to go into touch? Yeah, it's, it's into touch now. Over on that far on. side. Again, Bruce, Rid- Bruce Riddle to throw this one in. James Head, of course, running the Selkirk line out these days. It's been taken in there by Selkirk. So what a great opportunity, a great okay, platform you, from which to build. Okay, you two now, you two now. Rolling Mall, oh. not making too much headway at the moment, but they're just outside the Aki's. 22 Campbell's in there for Aki's trying to make a nuisance of himself. Now it's picked up pace and it rumbles on five or six metres or so into the Aki's 22. Aki's have got hands in there, but it's going to come back on the Selkirk side, or Aki's have got bodies over there now. Have they done so illegally? Same mall. He's fine where he is. Unplayable. So it's an Aki scrum. Six metres inside the Selkirk 22, and Selkirk have got a shunt on there. I've had enough of you. Back you go. Constantly appealing to me. I've had enough. Ten. The whole scrum is talking to me, saying about X, Y, and Z. We've spoken, it's not acceptable. Yeah, well, Grant Stevens in a hell of a better position than, than what we are just now, but you can see he looked better, not, not impressed at all. They obviously felt they had the ascendancy there in that scrum. There. I, I always think if if we've got a good ascending scrum and it's going forward, then we should just be doing the, the basics right. You know what, it's really messy in about that ruck time, ruck or mall time, and I think maybe the referee at times needs to take a wee bit of control it and manage the situation a bit better, get those bodies away from that tackle situation and, and let us play a wee bit of rugby because it's a cracking day for it yeah the line outs come back on the Selkirk side not as intended but they've got the possession nonetheless and it's Cottrell carrying it hard into his man there now it's going to be Hamilton again to Nixon Nixon's looking for his runners and he's got a willing one from McComb the back row McComb now it's out to Monroe Job his fellow back row player he's been scragged there however but he's maintained possession now it's Hamilton again Hamilton and Nixon Nixon to Svadrak he's carried three or four times already oh, today now the Haraki's player in over that it's, it's the yellow boots of Rory Campbell but he's been he's been in there against the wishes of the referees so here comes James Head another good carry from James Head advantage coming for Selkirk here but so they're gambling with house money at the moment but yeah, okay, eight, not going off, too far or doing too much with it. So the referee's going to bring them back, and it's a penalty to Selkirk. Five metres from the Aki's line, the first venture of Selkirk up towards that Aki's line. It's Bruce Riddle to throw in, and it's been won cleanly by Selkirk. So here the drive comes on now. The bodies are in there. Aki's have repelled that a metre or so, but Selkirk have set. Now I think it's Bruce Riddle at the tail there, is he? Okay, he has to watch, away, he doesn't get away, tackle, isolated tackle, there, Riddle, no, he's got the ground sensibly, so. Rui, no, we're not going quickly. 
We're not going quickly. Hamish Campbell. Cam to his namesake, Rudy Campbell's been the go-to man, the number eight so far. The Campbell combination. And now it's they're going to go again. They're taking their time. Every time line goes to Rudy Campbell. Yeah, Rudy it? Campbell. Oh, poor guy can't do anything. Yeah, he's uh, other than he, win line at he, the moment. Yeah, and he's managed to somehow palm that one back. It dropped in front of him, but he got a big Is mitt it? to it. So rather than put it in the box this time, Aki's Aki's forwards are going to tr try and trundle it another couple of phases first. But Granger's at the base now. Take it Granger back. puts it back to Hart in the pocket, and Hart was under pressure. And he's had to find another man rather than kick it himself. And it's the big winger oh, that, that we spoke about. It's. Lewis Wells and Lewis Wells oh, he's met hard there and it's a good tackle Go eventually by Scott McClimate but Advantage, he's made 30 metres or so Lewis Wells the youngster and there's a penalty coming for Aki's here as well so Cameron Barr this product of the Aki's youth systems come on number 20 it's a good, a good line out from Aki's for the penalty it's Hart out to Armstrong Armstrong out the back door now here comes Kent Kent dancing feet but he's gone close to the touchline Kent and the arm of David Chang Wang goes into the air and yeah wasted possession there by Akis yeah I thought they were getting somewhere Robbie Kent is a strong runner it's a very good defensive set by Lachlan Ferguson you know the lad he's only 18 year old but he ushered him he used the touchline as a defence as well and put him into touch well played Lachlan Bruce Riddle with the Selkirk line out he goes to head at the tail but it's gone over heads head so to speak but it's been picked up by Ross Nixon playing like a back row there he was intended to be playing in the back row this season but he's started the first four games at 10 as is his skill set now it's Petty trundles it up towards the Aki's 10 metre line so, Hamilton yeah. it is there's numbers here on this side and it's Nixon Nixon's got job jobs out to Ferguson Ferguson cuts back inside and he's met by the burly figure of Cole Emery sets it up however and it's back to James Head lovely offload to James Head to Bruce Riddle nice one two here comes Hamilton again but it goes out the back door to Nixon Godsmark another lovely pass by Godsmark and oh and lovely out the door out the back door stuff by Selkirk and it's been kicked into the Aki's 22 now Aki's with some defensive work to do here Ben Appleson he's met hard Ben Appleson and he's driven back oh and he's spilled the ball so here comes Selkirk Two no the referees whistle blows they're going to come back for that Aki's knock on and again you know, without sounding like a broken record, want to sound like a broken record, Scott, those hands are Ryan Godsmark. This young scrum half, Jack Hamilton, playing his 24, 22nd game for Selkirk Day. And here comes Selkirk, picked off the base. And it's Josh Welsh with a carry, the winger. Selkirk maintained possession here. Are the forwards going to have a, a rumble? Yes, they are. It's driven in there by Petty, the captain. Hamilton's at the base. He's got some big runners here. One of them is James Head, who runs off Nixon. James Head's dragging back there. That's good defence by the Aki's, but the Head's done well to get that away. Advantage. Now it's Nixon in the shadow of the post, and the referee's arms out here. So Sacker playing advantage. James Head again with another carry. Is James Head in here? No, but he sets it back. The forwards having another bash a metre or so from the line. Hamilton's at the base here. Is it going to come out? It's came out to Petty. Is Petty over? No, he's held up just short. So more great attacking position for. Selkirk gets taken in there Yes, wasn't the cleanest by McClyman but he's done well to mop that up they're still playing an advantage here so something is coming for Selkirk yep. regardless Hamilton's in there he has a look goes again to his big forwards none bigger than James Head James Head trundles it up and he set it back no, no, just shy of the Aki's line Hamilton's in there again it's left however and it's McClyman McClyman has a dart is McClyman over no he's okay. held up just short again good defence by Aki's but Selkirk really knocking on the door here will they blow it in for the first points of the afternoon somebody's round the corner a forward is round the corner and is it a try to Selkirk it is indeed it's the skipper Luke Petty and on the balance of play Scott that's no less than Selkirk have deserved I think the main thing was just to take there was lack there was no frustration there they just took her time we, we made every metre count what I liked about Selkirk there was that you know James Head Zen Petty were all carrying really really hard and he had the other guys working supporting and looking after that ball for them so I think it all goes well for the for the rest of the game centre. As the first kick of the afternoon splits the kindling, they've reduced the line out here and it's going to make job at the tail. Is that straight? The referee says it is. And that will suit Selkirk just fine. Oh, and there was a half a, half a metre there for Nixon to try and exploit and he's got the, the ever-present McClymont on his shoulder. So here comes Selkirk on halfway. 
good 2-3 metre carry there by Bruce Riddle he's starting to become prominent in this game as well and it's Nixon oh Nixon's Very used the dummy pass. runner there yeah lovely pass from Nixon speaking of it oh that's a bit more of a loose one for Godsmar but it's come to the attended target eventually and there's a Selkirk runner from the inside there and that's Cottrell and Cottrell's got Welsh on his outside oh. Welsh out the back door to Ryan Godsmark and the crowd will tell you that is a wonderful Selkirk try yeah what do you make uh, of that one Scott absolutely tremendous four young backs uh, all involved a great little half break by Matt Reid there and then he offloaded to Josh Welsh and, and Godsmark finished off great try under the post yeah great team try there by Selkirk again that stems from their own half and forwards and backs in complete harmony complete unison that takes us out now to Selkirk 12 Edinburgh he's nil after that play now I think their confidence will be sky high um, as I say they've got a strong bench in the second half as well so um, I, I'm really enjoying Ryan Cottrell playing his rugby just now he's playing it he's playing with a real a real passion and a real a real kind of freedom 10 metres or so outside the Selkirk 22 not had much territory Aki it's another slow line out but referee's happy enough comes out to Hart Hart's got Armstrong Armstrong's hit hard again Nixon using that physical art. yeah that centre physical side of centre like defence and he's been held up there I think he has yeah great defence by Selkirk there Nixon was in there Godsmark was in there and they can do it on both sides of the ball it's going to be Campbell it's been a Campbell combination at the touchline so far Hamish to Ruri. Ruri's gone at the back and it goes towards him but again it's going over the top and it's to Bruce Riddle who eyes up Vincent Hart and runs straight up decent enough effort in defence by Hart in all fairness but here comes Selkirk again James Head James Head oh lovely pop out of the contact from James Head and it's McComb up towards the 22 and Selkirk playing with Gay Abandon here and that's a lovely line another great pass by Godsmark and Cottrell coming at full tilt and Selkirk very much in the ascendancy here towards the end of this first half here at Philip, Philip Hall 14-0 there to the good and another good offload oh but that's gone forward and I think in all fairness Scott we've seen that one from up here as Grant Stephen the referee brings the first half to a close and yes yeah, Scotland uh, Scott Selkirk we've said it before they look a different team this season yeah listen even just simple plays like James Herry carrying the ball in two hands carrying it with real conviction Matt Reid there just now coming on the ball with pace on that far side of the touchline um, a fair play to Selkirk it's going to be Hamish Campbell the second half is picked up where the first one ended with a line out it's going to be Hamish Campbell will he look to his namesake Ruri yeah Ruri's in the middle but it's been palmed back by Selkirk hand but it's into the grateful arms of an Aki's player and Aki's have scored with you know barely a barely a minute into the second half and I think it was Andrew McComb got up there really well and tapped it back there and um, and the Aki's player just came through through the line out you know they've obviously Aki's done well to score that try they obviously had a rocket at half time by Bethlehem and and, um, and, and Selkirk are now under the course and there's another change being made there which could White. be significant that's Kieran White going on but it's Ryan Godsmark so impressive in that first half he comes to the touchline so is that tactical Scott's uh, injury? no he's struggling with a hamstring I think um, you can see him he's now strapped up fully yeah. um, possibly that 10 minute stint at half time just tightened right up but he's certainly a, a classy outfit and I think Scott White will be doing everything he can to make sure he doesn't go back to Belgium in six weeks time yeah but Kieran White a decent replacement to come on so first meaningful possession of this second half for Selkirk the forwards take it up towards the Aki's 22 James Head again he's popped it out the contact and they encroach just over that halfway line they've got White's got runners here but he goes out the back door to Nixon Nixon had Cottrell coming fast and now Aki's Cottrell spilled that and it's a lovely pass by Rudy Campbell now it's out to Harvey Cameron Barr for Aki's and that Cameron Barr's off and running here down the touchline is he in touch yes he is and, well, I don't know what was said in that Aki's in that Aki's changing room at half time Scott but it's done the trick yeah a couple of, couple of mistakes again it was good defence by Kieran White just on the field and he had to make an excellent tackle just 7 metres from the line but you can, you can see Rudy Campbell they're feeding off this they're feeding off the mistakes of Selkirk in the start of the second half yeah and it's going to be a Selkirk line out just inside the Aki's 22 on the far side here at Felpaw Stewart says 14 points to 5 but again it's been the line out's gone awry and that's not been an area of prominence for Selkirk here this afternoon but an interception's been taken by Hamilton 
and that takes Selkirk up towards the Aki's 22 now what can they do from here it comes back to McClyman McClyman's got a willing run and I think that was Nixon but again it's been spilled but it's been illegally guddled out of there by the Aki's player and it's a, Sel a penalty to Selkirk Reed lines up this Selkirk penalty strikes the ball sends it through the post so that's exactly what Selkirk were after so Selkirk looking to exit from oh that's a high shot if ever I've seen one yeah the referee agrees so it's an easy out isn't it for yeah. Selkirk you know a cheap shot like that they obviously didn't mean it Clem but you know it's a cheap shot it's a penalty that'll take us to the 50 metre line with our line out it puts us back in the, in the set of the game is it going to be more Scott or the referee's having a chat aye so high tackle it is direct to the head however he's clearly on his way down so mitigated down to get a card and free he's going to have a 10 minute all because he couldn't be bothered to bend his back basically Stay, for that hit eh? yeah so let's see what happens with this one Bet throws in and again it's been knocked forward by Monroe job in the middle of the line out he was on, under all kinds of pressure in fairness Aki's defend you know Aki's have defended these line outs well and that's a good carry by the second row that was Jake Mills again good defence by Selkirk it's been turned over by Selkirk and it's came up into the hands of Andrew McComb now long looping pass out to Kieran White Kieran White comes back on the inside doesn't want to get isolated Kieran White but now he's got his support runners there oh but it's a good, good enough counter from Aki's but Hamilton's taking it in there so Selkirk on their own 22 now there's a bit of space opening up here again Kieran White he had good. the unrushing John Welsh outside him Oh, now that was Ryan, that yes. was Ross Nixon rather who attempted, who swung tackle. his boot at it, but it was mid tackle and he missed the thing completely. So, Aki's now, sorry, it's come up in their possession as Ben Appleson, the fullback, spins it out and they've got Rory, Rory Campbell rather in the back division here, but he's well tackled as there's still an advantage being played. Yeah, there's another, there's another, there's another penalty fine. coming no the way of Aki. So, Rory Campbell's picked and gone here and Rory Campbell takes play deep into the Selkirk half just outside the 22 over on the far side here at Philco wait slow ball for Aki's but they've got runners oh, here in the back division and it's Jake no. Mills who's been a no. willing carrier here they come again it's Robbie Kent oh Robbie Kent stumbled as he tried to display the fancy footwork and he's been wrapped up as the Selkirk player down on the far side it's Zen Svadrag Kent now out to Appleson Appleson's got Cameron Barr on the outside. Cameron Barr tries to chip his man and it's come back to Cameron Barr. And Cameron Barr's going to be in here and that's all his own good work, Scott. Yeah, it's an excellent skill, wasn't it? Really, really good skill. You should be very happy with yourself, the young man. Yeah, good great try. try by it, just, it just got very, very loose for circuit, didn't it? It did, it did. And it's just been more loose in this second half. And Scott, you know, Scott White probably is not panicking yet. He doesn't look too flustered down there in the touchline, but he's he's got something to think about. Hamilton, the scrum half, it's back to him. Now here comes James Head. James Head puts the shoulder down. He's hit hard, but he's going to maintain no, possession. Hamilton's round again. Now have second number. Oh, it's oh, been intercepted. Oh. It's been intercepted by Harvey Cameron Barr. Is he going to go all the way? Harvey Cameron and Barr. Kieran White's coming over, but Cameron Barr's in, and the balance of power has swung here, Scott. Welcome. Yeah, and there's no need for it at all. To be fair, uh, if you, I mean, I'm just watching the heads, you know, there's so many, so many of the forwards they just look tired. It's like that sunlight in the last ten minutes has just took all the energy out of that that forward pack. It's really important now we get some senior players in there under the post and start pull the pull the jerseys together and, and start creating something. Yeah, Selkirk have had the wind knocked well and truly out of their sails here by. And Rockies, who've looked a different team since they've came out at half time, and it's 17 points to 15 with a kick to come to potentially bring things level. It couldn't be any closer to the touchline, however, for Ben Appleson, who's going to have a swing at this one. Another left footed kicker. But yeah, you're right, Scott, they're going to have to have a chat, but you know, beneath those posts and sort a few things out. Yeah, I've been quite impressed with Sam. Jo I think it's Sam Johnson that came on the, the, the little scrum half for Edinburgh Rockies. He's lifted the tempo of the game up. And that's a decent effort it's a better yeah. than decent effort from Ben Appleson and Ben Appleson, Appleson card, yeah. has drawn things level at 17 points apiece and certainly Akis have had the ascendancy the, um, this second half yeah very much so they're, they're very much in command in this second half they're up 17-3 on the second Bro. half scoreline Selkirk only, only having a Matt Reid penalty to show 
in this half, having been so comfortable and so in control for all of the first half, but the scrum. Tight head on the arm and down. Tight head, short on the bind and down. And Matt Reed is coming forward here. So he starts his run up, Matt Reed. Struck it well enough. Has it got the distance? Has it got the distance? It has got the distance. The crowd will tell you it's got the distance. And that's just what the doctor ordered for Southard. So much of the, the Aki's chat pre-game was around Lewis Wells. and he, he departed the scene 20 minutes or so into the first half. But Harvey Cameron Bars looked a more than capable replacement with his two tries. And that's a really clean Aki's line out over on that far side. So Aki's with another chance to build here. And Selkirk will be looking to... Okay, left repel line. that and try not, no, not to give away any penalties here but this Aki's Mall is making headway they've made 5 metres or so up towards the Selkirk 10 metre line Johnson out to Hart Hart's got runners here now it's the man who's come back on Robbie Kent but he's well marshalled in the midfield now have Selkirk turned that over Ooh, that was close Sorry. but it's came back on the Aki side and a little chip kick over and Harvey Cameron bars after this oh the bounce evaded Harvey Cameron bars he could have been in there now Selkirk have got numbers here that's Kieran White Does thinks better than to go for the speculative offload and what will Selkirk do here they're inside their own half and yeah I thought they might do that uh, Jack Hamilton's put the box kick up it's been well gathered in there by Ben Appleson coming at pace and now it's Aki's with possession three metres inside their own half McCaslin he's well taken down by the Selkirk player Johnson he's been impressed with the 38 year old since he came on now Max Wallace this other big winger that's Ruri Campbell lurking with intent in the back division prominent in this second half the ex Melrose man and the referee signalling for a, an Aki's penalty here I'm not sure what the infringement was but Sam Johnson decides to play on knowing the penalty is coming his way and Aki's are into the Selkirk half here Hart Hart with a dummy and go knows that he's got a free ball in the the second row Jake Mills he's been impressive this afternoon he's taken the pass from Hart and Aki's have maintained possession do they still have an advantage the ball's not coming back clearly it's slow ball for Aki's will the referee have seen enough oh and there was a man over there on this near side it was Jake Mills who had his winger Harvey Cameron bar with space in front of him but the big second row decided to take it in but the referee has deemed that not an ad enough advantage was gained so there's going to be a penalty here to Edinburgh Aki's Fraser McCaslin to try and be on point with his darts and he is exactly that so Aki's will look to build pressure here as they steal another metre or so with that Mall it's inching its way infield as well as forward and Selkirk do well not to concede a penalty here it continues to move this Aki's forward pack they're trundling forward here okay. Selkirk on there the referee's arm is out advantage, advantage coming Aki's way as they continue to inch towards this United Selkirk line is the ball going to come back <laughs> the other referee the shriller referee's whistle will tell you that the penalty is going to come now is he also reaching for his pocket he's going to drag a Selkirk man over here for a chat ok so first one's against yourself you have eventually gone round second one's the eight clearly sacking it down here not now let me let me, let me Luke 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 let me finish and then you can talk how, are you in, how, how is he involved in this conversation ok so for me ok so you were and then we've got a change AR scored and a change ok ok I don't need you to agree with it however the sack way is quite clear that's two in short succession Discipline's key here. Go, guys. guys, yes, you will have time. Time is off because we're going to the 15. OK, time's off. As the Selkirk crowd hold their breath, the pocket has not been reached for. Rudy Campbell's now in for a chat. As the, as the clock inches towards full time here. So it's an Edinburgh Aki's penalty. Five metres maybe from, and they're going to tap and go, Scott. Here come Edinburgh Aki's. It's, the, it's one of their burly props who trundles it up. Now, Way number on. 16's in there, that's George Ratcliffe, and he's a, a meaty old go, unit go, as well. Go, go. Almost up towards the Selkirk line here, Edinburgh, he's looking to escape here with the points, and they're over. Edinburgh, he's are over for a try, and this game has been turned on its head. The power of the Aki's forwards have came to the fore, and at half-time, Scott, we did not see this coming. No, and they've lost their shape, obviously, with James Head being off the field and Zan. Uh, went off early in the, in the start of the second half and we've really struggled to, to gain that parity and, and fair play to Aki's have came back into the game again um, they're playing with a structure they're playing with, with huge energy as well and, uh, and, and to be fair at the start of the, the, start of the second half they thoroughly deserved their, their, their try there just now 
so here comes Appleson he's put it between the sticks Hamilton's going to fish this go. back Hamilton Selkirk now trundling up towards the oh up towards the Aki's 10 metre line but there was an Aki's player in there over the ball Grant Stephen was quick with a whistle and is that going to be that Scott? He was quick with a whistle to be fair to them because he's not been consistent when it comes to uh, quick rolling away for the, the ball um, I just feel we look tired don't we? We Selkirk look really tired uh, we've lost our energy and that's the end of the game I think yeah, the referee brings proceedings to a close here. For want of less of a cliche, talk about a game of two halves. Selkirk 14-0 and coasting, you have to say, at half time. But Aki's have come right back into this. Three second half tries. So here at Philip Hall, it comes to a close. It's finished here. Selkirk 20, Edinburgh Aki's 24. Tough first half, if I'm quite honest. I think the boys fully underestimated the challenge down here in the borders I think we've got some new faces in there it's a hard hard place to come down at Selkirk slow start but we're ecstatic to come away with some points today especially five in the second half you seem to really come out all guns blazing with really two quick tries yeah. what was the team uh, the half time talk uh, I wouldn't use the word talk I'd maybe use the word scream and shout um, it was a lot of boys shouting maybe some bad words in there um, Boys just need to get themselves riled up. Half of us were still on the bus, I think, on the way down. And there was no other option for us but to come out all guns blazing and just go for it. I had disappointed. I'd say uh, we started the half, the first half, really well, actually. Uh, going 14 0 up. Um, and I just kind of let, it run, let them run away with it in the end, I suppose. But we'll, we'll take the, the point and, and move on to next week. We've just got to go in on Tuesday, just review what we've got done today, see what we can correct, a couple of things on video, and we'll just analyse Jed and into the weekend, see what they're bringing. Just take it each training session by at a time and just stick to our game. The confidence was high, you know. Uh, like I say, uh, getting a result at Mansfield like that, it's, it's always a good start to the season, and then picking up five points away at Musselburgh um, last week, you know, it's uh, kept the ball rolling. And like I say, we were expecting it to be hard when they, when, uh, with Aki's coming down here, but uh, we knew we could we'd probably get a result, but like I say, it's a, a tough one to take. So Selkirk's unbeaten run comes to an end with a win for Edinburgh Aki's here at Philip Hawk this afternoon. Next week, we're off to Inverleith for Stuart's Melville against Kelso. I hope you can join us then, but for now, cheerio.